Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Extensions at by Carrie J checking in from Studio K, my kitchen. I am I needed to check in for today and you know what? I had a bunch of people ask me today how I tie my scarf. Actually, let me lower this a little bit. So I figured I would show you guys real quick how I tie my scarf. Plus I wanted you to tell me to wanted to tell you about my massage with Corey. So anyways, the trick with how I like to tie my scarf, or how I usually, like the easiest way I know, is having it, oh, this isn't gonna work very well, people. I might have to step way back. Um, move this. Um, having it, it's a very long scarf, uneven, not even Steven, have one side longer than the other. So do you see that? And then what I do is I take the longer side, obviously, bring it around, and again, we're gonna be able to see better now. See how one is longer than the other? I kind of blouse this guy up a little bit, that middle guy. Then I take my longer side, bring it underneath and through, but see how I bring it up here on the side? I kind of bring it on the side. And then I just give it a little shake and a little twist. Hi, Shell Bell. Um, and that just kind of brings the scarf up on the side. So it gives it a little bit, I don't know, different balance so it's not just in the middle. Um, so that's how I do it. So I'll show you one more time. So make sure one side is longer than the other. This is a very long scarf, but take the longer side, bring it around, kind of blouse it up because I like mine nice and loose. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you also don't look like you're being choked. Then again, one side's now longer. Take this longer side and I bring it underneath and up through, but then kind of pull it up on that side and then just give it a little shake if it's not already a little lopsided and you put a little scarf on or sweater on or just wear this. But anyways, I had a bunch of people ask me today, so I figured I would share that with you guys as well. And then I also wanted to share with you that I got a massage. So if you are some of my San, San Clemente peeps, Corey Sirlock is amazeballs. So I knew she was good because she's rubbed my neck here and there when we were together for you know something and it was sore. But oh my goodness, she came to my house, gave me a massage, yesterday over an hour because she's like I, I just do what it needs to be done we named two of my muscles that are bad actually my girlfriend Melanie named Clyde the Beast years ago but Melanie Bonnie has now joined Clyde but we're gonna get on the schedule of regular massage but I'm not kidding if you guys are from San Clemente call Corey or private message her She's awesome. She came to my house. She even had hot rocks. She had this little heater thing that you use for coffee, but she had it for her rocks. So she's in my home, has music playing, has the hot stones, did coconut oil, told me to leave it on all day because it's great for your skin. So I feel all soft today. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Corey. She's awesome. If you need a massage, text her, call her, private message her. Don't have her information, private message me and I will get you her information. So anyways, I hope you guys are all having a great day and um, hey, happy Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Woohoo! It's almost over, everybody. All right, peace. See you later. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.